Earlier today, as part of a short series of Gamergate interviews he's planned to do, David Pakman of The David Pakman Show interviewed Christina Hoff Summers. While I found his approach to be slightly cringy, he didn't really do anything wrong, except for one thing. As you can see, the title's there to sell, it's got hashtag Gamergate and it says, disagrees with MRA Karen Strawn. By sell, I mean of course, get hits, get people interested, get them to buy more memberships, draw in a niche crowd, and there's not actually anything seriously wrong with that. When it gets to the point in the video where this part of the title becomes relevant when he presents Karen Strawn argument to C.H. Summers, the video clip of Karen Strawn making the detailed argument is played. C.H. Summers then appears to respond to the summary and then the clip itself which had just played. Nothing wrong there. However, I got the impression that C.H. Summers must have been played the video. In reality, she was not played the clip, and she suggests it was misleading to edit the video in that way. I'd have to agree, as I was misled myself. I came away from the video with the impression that David's summary was a lead up to playing the clip, rather than being in place of playing the clip for Summers. And before we were made aware of this fact, my mother, Jamie K1962 and Internet Zen Master brought up the point and question of why did you fill up so much time with a video of Karen Strawn? Internet Zen Master suggested it's because he couldn't articulate the points himself and presumably therefore showed CH Summers the video. This is evidence that people were misled and are not just going along with what CH Summers said. David Pakman said it was to be fair and to show people the argument being summed up. He says it's to be fair, but surely it's only fair if Christina Hoff Summers is aware of the full argument as well. If it's only fair that we know about what he's summarizing, surely it's really, really important for the person responding to his summary to be aware of that. And in fact, it gives us a much different impression if we're fully aware of what he's summarizing and the person responding to the summary isn't, and yet they play the clip as if she is. No note is made about the actual situation. Of course, Christina Hoff Summers comes off very well in her response, but perhaps her response would have been different if the situation for her were the same as the situation we were shown. Since starting to record this video, David Pakman responded to C.H. Summers, saying that they only added it to avoid people saying that he mischaracterized the argument. That reasoning is nonsense, because it doesn't actually do anything to prevent him from mischaracterizing the argument. It just means we'll see immediately after his summary that he had mischaracterized the argument. The only way it could avoid that is if he actually showed C.H. Summers, which a lot of people were misled to believe happened, and so didn't even think about his summary and its accuracy at the time. Well done. Your method worked. Just for a very sneaky reason. The David Pakman Show has also said that they added a disclaimer to the video. This is what it looks like. Much better. However, I would like to point out something to you that I think is extremely important. We have a video titled C.H. Summers disagrees with MRA Karen Strawn. That's the bait. That's what's supposed to hook eyes in to look at it. In the video itself, it tells you that C.H. Summers has not heard a single word directly quoted or from a direct recording of Karen Strawn. This is the absolute worst clickbait I have seen in ages. It is absolutely pitiful, it is worthy of mockery, and I think you should tear him apart for this. This is absolutely abysmal. And when I say tear him apart, of course, I mean figuratively. Criticize what he's done here. Don't physically tear David Pakman apart, please. I mean, come on. A video that you title, so-and-so one disagrees with so-and-so two. You never actually show so-and-so one exactly what so-and-so two said but you present your audience with it. And that disagreement between the two named people is the big draw. Absolute trash. But that's just another one of my harmful opinions.